It is amazing that I'm actually finally getting this video recorded because I've been having so much fun playing with the tool I'm going to share with you today that I just couldn't get started. But finally, something inside my head said, hey, why don't you just hit record and keep playing for the good people? Welcome back to the channel where we discuss the creative uses of AI. And right now, you're not looking at me. That is, you're not looking at the real Bob Doyle. This is still another digital avatar, but with some of the most realistic mouth movement I have ever seen. That's right, everything up to this point has been generated by an AI avatar. Now, I have shared many AI avatar solutions on this channel, and there are going to be probably more as they keep coming out with them to see which one is the best. And I have to say, we have a real contender here, because if you've watched any of my videos with AI avatars where you create a custom avatar of yourself and you watch it back, you will probably be able to tell that it's AI. Even if it looks pretty good, you'll probably be able to tell that it's an AI avatar. But I think you would be hard pressed to have identified that opening as AI if you weren't looking for it. Now, maybe some of you being AI enthusiasts are sensitive to that type of thing, but even I was blown away by this. And I want to share the solution that created that avatar and the various ways you can use it. And we're going to want to put on our headphones because there's definitely talking involved here. The solution I'm talking about is called Verbo from Wondershare. At its core, it's a solution for creating AI video for things like how-tos and education and training, various types of content marketing. You probably know what I'm talking about, and you've probably seen some examples of AI avatars in your various travels out there. But what really struck me about this service, and I have tried a few, is just how realistic they look. This service is focused on their AI avatars and the quality and variety of them. And when you get to the page and you start scrolling, you'll realize that, wow, there really are a lot. All different shapes and sizes, ages, ethnicities, and they've got them divided into various types of categories, like fixed background, where you'll see that they aren't just floating in space, but they are actually in a location. You can categorize by female, male, avatars that are suitable for marketing endeavors or news or education. Obviously, you're allowed to use them for whatever you want. In my case, for the opening, I had created my own custom avatar. This is a service on top of the cost of Verbo, but it's a one-time purchase to get your avatar. I'll touch on all these AI tools, but let's take a look at the basic functionality and how you build a video with this AI avatar, and we'll start with mine as an example. We'll create a landscape video, because that's what I do here, and now here's where you would choose your avatar, your background, and any other graphic elements, including text, stickers, those types of things that you're used to in a video editor. I also want to Note that I'm currently showing you the web version, and there is also a desktop version that does one or two things that the web version doesn't, and I'll show you that in the course of this video. Now, in a typical use case, you'd choose your avatar from any of these over here. You can change them up, move them around, change the size of them, choose a background just by clicking, and it loads right up. And then to get them to say what you'd like them to say, you type in a script here, or you can upload an audio script. But let's choose my avatar, which I created on this background here, so that I could use it in times when I maybe forgot to hit record on the camera, which has happened numerous times. I'd love to be able to just insert a piece of video with me talking that I didn't have to re-record, that I could generate. I don't need minutes of the service. I just need it to fill in the gaps here and there. That would be a use case for me. But if you'll notice, this is the avatar avatar. The quality is great. The way it works is you send them a high quality video, which is what I did. That was maybe, I don't know, three or five minutes or something of me just talking. And then I also sent them a file for them to clone my voice. Now to create the opening, I actually used an audio script, not text to speech to generate that video. So in this case, I had an audio file that I can either drag or click. In this case, it's a file called opener. And when I click apply, it will upload it and then transcribe it so it can do the captioning. So here's all the transcriptions and the subtitles. I can go through and make any spelling changes if I need to. If I click here, it'll give me a preview of the captions, but it won't add the lip movement until I go to export. This way, it is amazing that I'm actually finally getting this video recorded because I've been having so much recognize that from the beginning. All right, so now all I do is click on export and it takes a few minutes and generates the video we saw before, which I can just go to my creations and here it is down here. Just click play. It is amazing that I'm actually finally getting this video recorded because I've been having so much fun playing with the tool I'm going to share with you today that I just couldn't get started. But finally, something inside my head said, hey, why don't you just hit record? And so when you go to my creations, you see everything you've done. But here's the video that was the result of that export, and it was the opening of this video. It is amazing that I'm actually finally getting this video recorded because I've been having so much fun playing with the tool I'm going to share with you today that I just couldn't get started.
Now that looks amazing. The only criticism I have is my voice was way more animated than my face, but that's not the fault of this avatar. It's because when I gave them the video, I wasn't talking like this. I wasn't giving them anything to work with. I was really just trying to create something that would be an average of how I talk on my videos. But having said that, the way that it does accentuate some of my eye movement, it's like it knows what it's going to say. For example, let's see. Welcome back to the channel where we discuss the creative uses of AI. And right now you're not looking at me. When I say you're not looking at me, my head actually shakes a little, like you're not looking at me, but it's not crazy like this. It's just exactly how I would do it. And that's the kind of detail I'm talking about that you want to pay attention to when you're considering your AI avatar solution. I really don't think anyone would look at that and think it was AI at me. That is, you're not looking at the real Bob Doyle. And what I did with my eyes there when I said, you're not looking at the real Bob Doyle. Of course I would do something like that in real life, but that's a freaking avatar. If you're not impressed by that, I don't know what avatars you're playing with. Now, I think one of the things that added to the realism of that is that I was using speech to speech. In other words, I uploaded an audio file of me talking like I normally talk, and that drove the animation as opposed to text to speech. But let's look at a text to speech solution and see how it sounded. So here's where I created the video, my normal avatar here, and I typed, hello, welcome back to the channel where we discuss the creative uses of blah, blah, blah. And I choose my voice over here. And instead of choosing one of their voices, I go over here to me and I use the custom clone voice that they created for me. And you'll notice when I hover over the globe, this voice is ready to be translated into German, French, Portuguese, Italian, and Hindi. So in this case, I'm gonna click my voice, click okay. And then when I export that, here's the text-to-speech generation of what I just typed. Hello, welcome back to the channel where we discuss the creative uses of AI. And right now, you're not looking at me. That is, you're not looking at the real Bob Doyle. This is still another digital avatar, but with one of the most realistic mouth movements I've ever seen. And even more impressive, this is text-to-speech, not speech-to-speech. That means everything in this video is generated with AI. Hello, welcome now, back to the channel where we... So again, my only criticism there was that delivery was a little bit deadpan. But I have found that if you just keep generating, the AI will give you different versions. And I've had text-to-speech generations that have a little bit more energy than that. But still, overall, that's a really good clone of my voice. And the mouth animation is flawless in my mind. So let's do a translation. Here's the script to the opening that we just did. So let's say I now want to do this in German. So I'm going to click on AI Translation. I'm going to choose German because it is one of the supported languages. And now there's my translation. I click on apply. And then when I export, I'll get a translated version. Hi, willkommen zurück auf dem Kanal, auf dem wir die kreativen Einsatzmöglichkeiten von KI diskutieren. Und im Moment schaust du mich nicht an. Das heißt, du schaust nicht den echten Bob Doyle an. Dies ist immer noch ein weiterer digitaler Avatar, aber mit einer der realistischsten Mundbewegungen, die ich je gesehen habe. Und noch beeindruckender ist, dass dies Textzusprache ist, nicht Sprache zu. That's just so crazy to me. That looks so real and the voice sounds so good. But what about when you want to translate into a language and it's not one of the supported voices of your clone? What do you do? Well, luckily, their library is so vast that you can find a replacement voice that will do the job pretty good. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is just something silly I wanted to translate into Japanese. These yellow chairs are the yellowest chairs in the world. They are the yellowest chairs in the whole world. And I wanted him to be talking Japanese, but my particular clone doesn't support the Japanese language. But let's go ahead and get it translated. We'll click on Japanese. There's the translation. Click on Apply. And I'll click on Play Script. And it will tell me that the voiceover script is in Japanese and doesn't match the voiceover language. So please adjust the voiceover. So here I can choose another voice that is trained on Japanese to take over. And they got a couple of male Japanese voices here. Let's listen. Wanda share Barbo. Skyasuku. It's not crazy dissimilar from mine. So let me just choose that one and select it. And then when I export that, I get this. They're the yellowest chairs in the world. So even though that's not my voice, it'll do in a pinch. It's close enough and it's got me speaking Japanese. I think I'm speaking Japanese. I really think so. So now I want you to help me test a theory. My theory is that the movement of the face and the avatar in general looks a little more realistic, or at least occurs a little more realistic to me when it's being driven by an actual audio file of a real person talking like a real person talks. 
as opposed to when it's driven by text-to-speech. Certainly that's the case in most other solutions, but let's compare what Verbo does between the two of them. In this case, this is actually me recorded with my voice converted to a female voice using 11 Labs. So I recorded in an audio file so I could say it exactly how I wanted to with all the inflection and the emphasis that I needed. And then I converted it to a female voice and used that to drive this video. So let's take a look at what it looks like. Hi, and welcome to Bobdwell Media. I'm Elizabeth, I'm new here, and I'm a digital avatar, sure, but I also know what the hell's going on. You can ask me just about anything you want to. And uh, although I don't know the answer right now, I will eventually. Now I have seen this particular avatar on other videos when it's clearly text-to-speech, and it occurs to me immediately that this is a digital avatar. Except for that little pause right at the beginning, once she got into the flow, wouldn't you agree that that movement looked natural? I'm new here, and I'm a digital avatar, sure, but I also know what the hell's going on. You can ask me like right in there, anything you want to. All of that seems totally natural to me. Yes, there's a couple of motions that are a little unnatural, but you're really only going to notice them if you're looking for it. Now, I basically transcribed what I said in that audio file, and now I'm using text-to-speech. Now, I can't use that same voice that I used on that audio file because I haven't sampled that voice. It was 11 laps conversion, but I'll just choose one of their more popular or hot voices here. In a groundbreaking development, a team of international okay we'll use that one because that one sounds nice and realistic we're gonna click OK and we'll export that and see how different it sounds hi and welcome to Bob Doyle media I'm Elizabeth I'm new here and I'm a digital avatar sure but I also know what the hell's going on you can ask me just about anything you want to and although I don't know the answer right now I will eventually what do you think? I guess to me it seems more realistic because the voice seems more realistic when it's actually recording, but that was a pretty good voice. That seemed fairly natural, but again, I'm listening for AI stuff, and maybe you are too, obviously. But I was watching the movement, and it still looked good. Let's throw together something really quick again. So let's choose a different avatar. Over over here, if I want to change the background, I can choose any of their predetermined backgrounds, or I can upload my own. So now I've got her in the studio. We'll give her this script about being Elizabeth, just like the other one did. We can move these subtitles anywhere we'd like. You'll notice here that there are different styles that we can choose, presets for the look of this text. Let's make her a little bigger. We can preview what she sounds like with this text by clicking the play button here. Hi, and welcome to Bob Doyle Media. I'm Elizabeth. I don't want the text-to-speech energy here, so I'm going to upload that audio file that I did before. Click apply, and then I want to change the spelling because they put dwell instead of Doyle. I can preview how the subtitles are going to look by clicking play. Hi, and welcome to Bob Doyle Media. I'm Elizabeth. I'm new here, and I'm a digital avatar. Sure. Remember, that's my converted voice. That's why it sounds super natural. You'll also notice here in the desktop version, you have this plus sign underneath this area here, which means you can add scenes to this video, making it longer and extending it. The timeline mode is just what it sounds like. When you click this, now you see all of this in the timeline fashion. If you're more used to doing video editing like that, you can appreciate this. Plus, this allows you to add things like text and stickers and other things at specific times in the video. So that's been dropped onto the timeline here. And if I only want it to occur at a certain point, I would put it on that point in the timeline. So like when she says, I'm new here, right? It'd be good to point at her, but then when she's done, it needs to go away. And there's no provision for doing that in the text mode. So you would need to go over here into timeline mode. But here in the web version, there is no timeline mode available. We can also add background music. If we just click on the plus sign, we choose what we're looking for. We have volume control over this once we listen to it and see how it mixes. Let's click preview. Here, and I'm a digital avatar, sure. So now I can adjust any volumes that I need, but that sounds pretty good actually for me. Let's export this and see what it looks like with her talking. Hi, and welcome to Bob Dwell Media. I'm Elizabeth. I'm new here, and I'm a digital avatar, sure, but I also know what the hell's going on. You can ask me just about anything you want to. And uh, although I don't know the answer right now, I will eventually. All right. I love that. I think that's so cool. Let's look at the other tools that they provide here in the suite. The AI script is exactly what you'd think. Don't have any ideas, don't know how to write. You come over here and you get some help with AI. You're probably familiar with using AI for helping you write a little bit. The talking photo is again, pretty self-explanatory. You upload any kind of photo you want to, as long as it has a face and then you tell it what to say, or you upload an audio file. For example, I uploaded this still image, upload an audio file, 
like the opener for this video, and click Apply. You'll see that it gives you the subtitles again if you want to have them there. I'll go ahead and click on Subtitles, and you can add background music just like we did before. Notice you can also upload your own background music if you'd like, and click on Export Video. It is amazing that I'm actually finally getting this video recorded because I've been having so much fun playing with the tool I'm going to share with you today that I just couldn't get started. But finally, something inside my head said, hey, Okay, so talking video, obviously not as realistic as the talking video avatar, but maybe if you had it in a circle over in the corner or something like that, you could still use it. These talking avatars can be used just like any regular avatar. So if I was going to create a new video, for example, and then change the avatar out, when I click on change, I can go to talking photo, and I can choose either the one where the background was removed by this system, or choose the one with the background. I would choose the circle option for the style, so that I could then move it around and it's not taking up the whole screen. Or if I use the transparent version here, I could stick it over here and then put whatever background I wanted, and generate the video just like I would any other, and it will of course add the lip movement. Video Translate allows you to upload an existing video, choose the language you'd like it to translate into, and then you have the option of adding the lip sync and subtitles if you'd like. Let's click and upload a video. Probably recognize this if you've gotten to the end of any of our videos on this channel. So let's choose English as the original language because that's what it was. And why don't we translate to French? Click on translate video. Si vous vous abonnez maintenant, je ne vous chercherai pas. Je ne vous poursuivrai pas. Mais si vous ne le faites pas, je vous chercherai. Je vous trouverai et je so it gave us the French translation in the voice that was originally there. Now there might be several situations where you just need an avatar that you want to be able to place in other videos or use in other video editing software. This may be a little bit more elaborate and allows more things, but you just need that source video just like you would need an actor to come in, stand on a green screen. You can do the same thing here by choosing export avatar only. So you click on export avatar only and then you choose whichever avatar you want as your spokesperson. Let's say this dude, Albert Casual, same thing, text or audio upload to drive it. You can also extract audio from a video file if you don't have just an audio file, or you can do an online recording. For example, Howdy, I'm Albert, and uh, I don't really look like I would talk like this, do I? Click on Apply. We'll make sure it sounds okay. Howdy, I'm Albert. It sounds okay. Before choosing Export Video, you can choose Green Screen, where it will export with the green screen in the background, or you can say Transparent Video. And so for video editors that support video clips with alpha channels, you could do that. Right now, I'm just going to click on Green Screen and click on Export Video. Here's our green screen video of Albert. Howdy, I'm Albert. And, uh... I don't really look like I would talk like this, do I, bud? And finally, they have their text-to-speech tool, which allows for translation as well. If you have your cloned voice in here, it will appear. We'll just write a little script here. Hello, I hope as you're watching this video, you feel more and more compelled to hit that subscribe button and then start a letter writing campaign to get all citizens in your hometown to do the same. Of course, we just choose our voice and click generate audio. Hello, I hope as you're watching this video, you feel more and more compelled to hit and subscribe button and then start oh. a letter writing campaign. It'd be better if I wrote in a proper sentence, hit the subscribe button. Okay, I didn't like her voice. Let's go back to my voice and generate again. Hello, I hope as you're watching this video, you feel more and more compelled to hit the subscribe button and then start a letter writing campaign to get all citizens in your hometown to do the same. Wow, that's pretty good. That was a really good voice conversion there. But now let's translate it to another language. Remember, we can do German, French, Portuguese, Italian, or Hindi. So we click on the AI translation button right here. We choose the language we want. We're going to do Hindi and click generate. Namaste. मुझे आशा है कि जब आप इस वीडियो को देख रहे हैं तो आपको और भी अधिक प्रेरित महसूस हो रहा होगा कि आप सब्सक्राइब बटन पर क्लिक करें और फिर अपने घर नगर में रहने वाले सभी Amazing, sounds just like me. So now if I click on create avatar video, it brings the same script into this and now we would just need to change this avatar back to me and then export. Namaste. मुझे आशा है कि जब आप इस वीडियो को देख रहे हैं तो आपको और भी अधिक प्रेरित महसूस हो रहा होगा कि आप सब्सक्राइब बटन पर क्लिक करें और फिर अपने घर नगर में रहने वाले सभी नागरिकों को भी ऐसा ही करने के लिए पत्र लेखन अभियान शुरू करें I just think that is amazing to me. Now look, you may not have a use case in your life or business for a digital avatar like this, but if you do, you have probably done some shopping around to find the most realistic looking avatar you could possibly find and the one that looks and sounds most like you. And so far, as far as creating a custom clone of myself, this is the most undetectable one. If this is the kind of stuff you like to learn about, then why not subscribe to the channel? Because covering creative AI tools and solutions is what we do here all the time.
If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will...